Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my weekly wax empties. I do not have any candles for you this week, but what I do have, and I've been meaning to mention for like the past three or four months, is this um, ARC, it's a, like barbecue lighter with a USB. Um, I love this. It bends for all of you um, candle melt warmers. Um, so it turns on, it has a little switch right here and then it has the little indicator light and then you just press, see that? And then you light your candle. So very cool and it comes of course with a, um, I brought up the packaging, it comes with the uh, USB charger and I bought this off of Amazon and I was inspired to buy this after watching um, Angela from my Close Smell at Candles. She had talked about this a long time ago. So if you just go to Amazon and type in candle lighter, and I just got like a, a rose gold one. Um, I think they come in different things, but I've had this for several months and I just keep forgetting to bring it up and talk about it when I film, but I love this. It is like perfect. Like I said, it bends and, um, I really love this and I haven't had to charge it at all yet. Now, granted, I am not a like avid, um, candle warmer. I don't go through a lot, but still. Okay. So let's jump right into my empties. The first thing that I have is from the bathing garden. And it is salt water. And salt water is described as um, smells of clean lime, citrus, and sea salt blend. And that is definitely true. And this is just really great. It's not a blow you out of your house type of scent, but it is really, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> it's a really wonderful, like true, authentic, like salt water at the beach. It doesn't smell like suntan lotion or anything like that. Just like a nice, clean, crisp type of scent. And I really enjoyed that. I'm going to apologize for my fingernails. I took my nail polish off yesterday. I have not had a chance to repolish. I still have a nail fungus, which I am taking medication for. It is just a very like long process to get rid of that. So sorry if that is something gross to look at, but okay. So from Sensationals, I melted through a hideaway clamshell and this is Zesty Tangelo and Sea Salt. And yes, that is exactly what this is. Love the picture here. This is really, really great. Um, you definitely get that citrus note from the Tangelo and I get a tiny slight floral. I don't know if that is like from supposed to be from like these like beach type of bushes here, but this was really nice. A good six hours when I was warming this and I did enjoy that as well. From Sensi, I melted through Blue Grotto. This my kids absolutely love. This is a favorite of theirs to melt in their bedrooms. It is just a like sugary, sweet, I thought it was like a blue raspberry, but I definitely don't get that now. Just like a candy type of scent. And my kids really like that. And it is also very long lasting. From Better Homes and Gardens, I finished up an Island Coconut Creamsicle. Um, and this was good. This wasn't a like suntan coconut, but more of like a creamy like cut into a fresh coconut type of scent. This was nice. I did enjoy that. Exactly like the picture, like you would have like an ice cream type of bar, creamsicle type of vibe going there. And that was enjoyable. From Rainbow Melt, I finished up a scoopable and purify. And this is clean air, sweet orange, lime, grapefruit, soft floral, sandalwood, and musk. Don't let the floral, the soft floral scare you. 
I don't get any type of a floral when I was warming this. It is definitely that clean air, that citrus from the orange, the lime, the grapefruit. This is really magnificent and just kind of like softened up and just a very enjoyable, pretty scent with the sandalwood and the musk as well. And I really liked that and enjoyed it every single time that I warmed. Some sunshot cups we have from Destination Wax Shop Around, which is um, Parma Violets and Creamy Fruit Candy with a Hint of Cinnamon. I don't get cinnamon in here. I have found, I am, well, I guess I do, a little bit of cinnamon. You get that little bit of spice, but it's definitely way in the back when you're warming this. I am not a fan of Parma Violets. Um, so happy to have tried this, but this was definitely not a favorite from Destination Wax. From a crafty barista, I melted Sweet Dreams Darling, which is a dupe of the Johnson & Johnson Bedtime Bath, which is like that lavender scent. This was very pretty and soothing. Um, I melted this in the kids' bedroom as well at nighttime. Sometimes they request a lavender scent they both like it and this was good and long lasting it's not a sweet lavender it's definitely definitely more on the herbal like um english lavender type of scent but still good and it totally brought me back to the johnson and johnson bedtime bath using that on my boys when they were little we have from K Scented Melts. This was Snuggle. So this is your laundry scent. And that's exactly what this was. Like a Snuggle um, fabric softener or the Snuggle dryer sheets. So definitely exact of that scent. That's really what you get. That was long lasting. That was a one ounce scent check cup. So that I went, ugh, getting tongue tied. That went into one warmer and did really well. I would say over eight hours for that. From Satin Susie, I melted citrus linen. This was sent to me um, from my friend Kim over at Kim Hearts Organizing. And this was wonderful. This really was a clean um, laundry scent with a hint of citrus. Definitely heavier on like the linen aspect of it. But you definitely got a citrus note with that. This was really good. And again, this was from Satin Susie. Really great vendor. If you have not tried out Satin Susie, I strongly recommend you trying her out. Another one from Destination Wax was Lemon Fresh. And Lemon Fresh is described as a very complex and fresh lemon fusion scent. Lemon sugar by Fresh type. And this was wonderful. I love clean lemons, like just a fresh picked lemon. I love lemonade scents. I love zest, like lemon zest scents. I do not like lemon bakery scents. So this was perfect. This was just a wonderful, clean, fresh lemon scent. Long lasting. Melted this after I had cooked. Um, cut this into fourths and had this going in four different warmers like in my kitchen and living room area and it cleared the air and you could really get that lemon scent throughout and it was very 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 enjoyable a couple more from destination wax i have lemon leaves again this was sent to me um from kim and lemon leaves is described as green lemon leaves and pure bright lemon oil from L'Occitane Verbena, formerly Verbena and Lemon Leaves, which if you have not tried L'Occitane, like body lotion, I always just, well, I don't say always, I've had like a big tub of it once and it was just the original scent. It's the most um, hydrating, moisturizing body cream. It's very spendy, but it's good. I would, if I was in the market to buy, again, from L'Occitane, I would definitely try this lemon scent. Again, 
super fresh, clean lemon, not bakery at all. Just a beautiful, like relaxing, calming, calm, calming lemon scent. Really, really loved that. Lastly, from Destination Wax, Ivory Soap, which I have tried this before. Spot on. If you are a fan of soap scents and you like Ivory Soap, definitely try this out. This was strong, long lasting. I had this going um, in my downstairs bathroom pretty much for the whole entire week. Whenever I couldn't smell it anymore, I put another small piece in and just melted that and loved it. My bathroom smelled clean and fresh all week long. All right, moving on to some bags from Savannah Blue. I melted Starry Nights, and Starry Nights is black tea, black currants, bergamot, sandalwood, and vanilla honey. This was very nice. You definitely got that honey, like, like natural kind of sweet scent from this. Um, of course, with uh, the black tea and the bergamot was light in this. This was nice. I've had this for a long time. Does it have a date on it? It does not. But I know that I've had this for, gosh, probably two years. And I just had one small piece of this left in this bag. And I melted this in my front room. And it was very nice. So I enjoyed that as well. Um... From Rose Girls, my friend Amy sent me this. This was Game Over, and this is daiquiri, raspberry sauce, vanilla ice cream, strawberry jam, and satsuma. I absolutely love raspberry sauce and strawberry jam from Rose Girls. So this was just an absolutely magnificent scent. I am so grateful that she shared this with me. Oh, it was just fruity sweet goodness and i loved 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 this this smelled better than a strawberry daiquiri this was really good kind of like almost like like a sauce type of um situation that you would put like over like an angel food cake or over a vanilla ice cream just delicious smelling and I really really enjoyed that and thank you so much Amy for sharing that with me I loved it another one from Rose Girls is Summer Breeze Noel this was in um the mini melters and this is um her Summer Breeze scent mixed with Vanilla Bean Noel this was nice I think I like Summer Breeze the Lemon Summer I think it's Lemon Summer Breeze I think I like that one a little bit more because it kind of tames the summer breeze, which can be, I don't know. I, I don't know if it has salty, like salty sea air in it. I should have looked it up. I'm not sure, but it was definitely enjoyable and I loved it and finished up that this week from um, the bathing gardens. Take me to the fairies. Again, another, ugh. take me to the fairies. This was a sample that I received a couple orders back. I loved this. This is described as jasmine and lime blend with ginger, nutmeg, and hints of mint. Unique and refreshing. This was so pretty. Definitely strong on the lime and the ginger. Um, the mint was definitely kind of like an afterthought in here, but such a pretty, pretty scent. I loved that, and I melted that in my bedroom and really, really enjoyed it. Another one from Rose Girls is Biolage Zen. I love this. This was in her um, muffin chunks, chunk muffin. I love shampoo scents, and Biolage is a Natrix scent and her zen is just that like kind of upscale spa so i cut this into five pieces and had this going in five different warmers downstairs in my living space and i love this this is just a super clean fresh scent and 
oh gosh, so good. Good eight hours with that one. From, um, oh my gosh, Ella After Wax. This was Tweedledum, and this was a couple pieces in a bag, and it is from her um, Alice in Wonderland collection, and it was blue sugar, clean cotton, and a splash of salty sea air. This was done really well. I loved this. Just a clean laundry, um, like if you were to hang your laundry out on the line by the ocean. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, but that's what I got from this. Just a really pretty, pretty scent, and I loved that as well. From Rainbow Melt, I melted Coffee Lounge, and Coffee Lounge is strong coffee, a shot of Kentucky bourbon, and sweet Amish bread. I love this so much. You definitely get that strong coffee. You get that bit of a boozy note so good like if you were to have like an after dinner um drink of coffee with booze that is this this was so good i loved this i melted this at night um one night this past week this was really nice good long lasting um i love when i get that coffee note first and Rainbow Melts really does have a way of doing that. This was really good, and I would definitely check that one out again. That was in her coffee sampler. From the Bathing Garden, Manage Your Flamingo. This was just a delicious, fruity, just made me think of summer. Yes, very fruity. Not like tropical coconut, but just a strong, fruity, like mango type of scent. Again, another sample. Loved that as well. Melted that in my front room. And it was really delicious. From Rainbow Melt Pink Lemonade. This was a sample that Jenny sent in a more recent order. Uh, love lemonade. This pink lemonade was delicious as well. There were, I think, two hearts in here so I melted this in two different warmers in my kitchen and I love lemonade scents and this was a sample and it was really good probably about uh between four and five hours for that from super tarts I melted Zerbert kisses which I felt like on cold this melted like grape and now I'm not sure when I'm smelling it um, this was very, very light. It was just a, a piece. So I had this going in my front room. Um, and I don't really remember smelling much from there. So I'm not sure what Zerbert Kisses is. And I did not look it up. So could not really tell you. Another one from Ella After Wax was 40 Below Tolerable. And I'm not going to remember this one either unless it gives me a hint. Yeah, I don't remember what this was, you guys. Kind of like a green. I'm getting like a green note on cold. But I think I probably melted this like last Saturday or something. I just, I don't remember. And it was just a small, like a couple small pieces that I put into two warmers. So that that's just not standing out for me right now. But that's everything. Those are all of my... Um, empties for the past week. I'm still working through my spring basket. I have added things to it, so, um, which is good, but I'm getting through things and I'm very happy about that. So that's everything, you guys. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, relaxing weekend, that you're all staying safe and staying well, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.